Hi, my name is Dr. Cheney, and in the next few minutes, I'm going to be giving a keynote speech on corporate partnership and enterprise engagement. So I will start off the talk, my talk, with a brief overview in terms of the context of, um, of my talk or presentation. I will then discuss the benefits of a business degree. This will be followed on with what corporate partnership is all about in terms of the current practice and offerings within the higher education context. I will do this by drawing insights from a particular institution within the UK, as well as provide students experience of corporate partnership. In addition to this, I will provide experiences of businesses in engaging with higher education institution, again, within the context of corporate partnership. I will finally wrap up my talk with key highlights on how we can progress in our development and enhancement of partnerships or corporate engagement be between institutions and businesses. So in terms of context, evidence show that business degree programs such as MBA have continued to show steady increase interest in terms of the number of applicants or candidates indicating interest for business degree publications. Now, this is perhaps because uh, business degree programs are considered to be contributing factors towards career enhancement or career progression. Nonetheless, organizations have continued to raise concerns in the context of business graduates having practical experience within a workplace setting. Now, some organizations might be on the hunt for business graduates from prestigious institutions. However, such enthusiasm is not shared by every other organization, which raises the question or the need for business degree programs to be designed and developed in such a way that the business students and eventually graduates are prepared and adequately equipped with key employability skills for workplace setting. Just before I delve into exploring or discussing the concern raised by organizations in terms of business graduates not having key employability skills or not being adequately prepared for the workplace setting. Let's review some of the benefits associated with having a business degree qualification. Now, business degree programs certainly provide a platform for students to develop key business principles. You know, I've listed a number of those principles on the slide, and they include financial management, global marketing, entrepreneurship, contemporary human resources, you know, and the list goes on and on. So essentially, learners are opportune to gain key business functions and the relationships within the relationship between these functions within an international environment. It is no doubt that practitioners also embark on achieving a business degree qualification for the purpose of becoming effective change agents within their workplace or within their organization. But the challenge here is many recent graduates or even current students are not necessarily work practitioners. So again, the need for business degree programs to be structured to 
enable students to gain an understanding of business operational practice, to gain an understanding of key employability skills. Now, gaining an understanding of that and also experience the practical application of such skills is something that we should give attention to. Now, moving on to partnership between academic institutions and businesses in terms of what the current practice or ongoing practice is. Collaborative practice or what some institution might call community engagement is not necessarily a new concept within academic or higher education institutions. Now, most institutions most likely embrace collaborative practice. And this could take the shape, the form of apprenticeship or degree apprenticeship. Now, the degree apprenticeship, you would notice that it's got work-based learning as a core component. But the question here is, what about students who have, who, who are not pursuing, or graduates who have not pursued their business degree qualification as work-based learners. Now, just hold our thoughts on the question. It is evident that business integrated learning exists within academic institutions. However, what is still unclear or possibly still quite shady within academic institutions offerings on business related programs is how students or how the graduates actually get to apply the skills and the knowledge gained within a workplace setting and to do that with confidence. Now, another way we could put that could be businesses or organizations are really crying out for help in terms of producing graduates that possess the hands-on skills, the key skills, the confidence on knowing how to approach the culture, the expectations and demands of the workplace setting. So I guess my question or the key aim of my talk is, how do we get to, or how do we keep driving corporate partnership? And in essence, addressing this issue of incompetent business graduates. Now, I've put something on the slide, which I'm guessing it's already current practice to a good degree in many institutions, higher education institutions of learning. Business programs with built in workplace components, workplace elements, is certainly a welcomed structure. Now, when I say built in workplace element, it's got to be something that the students are assessed on. Okay, now this could serve as a reasonable strategy to strengthen and broaden corporate partnership because when students are assessed on it, there's that um, liaison or dialogue that goes on between the academic institution and the businesses in working out how students are gonna be assessed and how their assessment goes on and what impact is making, not just in the, in the students learn, but also in the workplace setting. The reason why this has got to be assessed or uh, the, the, the idea behind a business program with built in workplace elements is that it, it creates an opportunity for learners to learn by doing. They also have opportunity to reflect on what they've learned. They have the platform to apply business principles. And hopefully we, are, we should be working towards creating more capable and better decision business leaders. I've got a second point there which says that the learners will inevitably have an opportunity to impact the real world. 
And essentially, we are hoping to produce graduates who can positively become effective change agents. Now, let's look at an example. An example is the MBA with placement component, or what some institutions might call MBA with professional practice. Now, this MBA program is being offered by a number of higher education institutions in the UK and is certainly gaining popularity. It is an innovative initiative designed to bridge the gap of developing and harnessing employability skills in students as they undertake their study, as well as creating capable graduates who are ready for organizational expectation and workplace practices in this 21st century. This MBA program with professional practice is designed to support workplace or community engagement. It is designed in such a way that it provides an opportunity for local and national businesses to engage confidently with academic institutions. One way to do this is businesses being part of the assessment component design such that the assessment components reflect practical applications and workable solutions. Inevitably, this creates a rich learning journey and experience for the students. And of course, enables businesses to embrace the diversity of students who indicate an interest to work within their organization. Now, being a bit more specific and drawing insight from my own institution, I lead an MBA program titled International MBA with Professional Practice. The goal of this program is that it, my students are enabled to take responsibility for real life situations. Now they do this right from the onset, which entails the planning, the development, and the implementation. So which means my students' decision-making is challenged and the students are enabled to develop a range of valuable skills that are required for implementation in the real world. A vital element of this my MBA with professional practice program is that students gain theoretical underpinnings and practical workplace experience, which should inevitably prepare them for the world of work. As explained in the previous slide, a core element of this my MBA with professional practice program is that students are enabled to gain theoretical underpinnings and practical workplace experience. Now we do this by ensuring that we put corporate partnership and engagement at the forefront of the program design and delivery. So this slide showcases student voice in terms of experiences of having been part of this program. Right, I'll give us a moment to reflect on the comments that I've got on the slide. Right, as you can see, most if not all of the comments are quite, you know, positive. So they reflect positive experience as well as developmental experience 
But an interesting thing to, to pull out from these comments is that students are actually reflecting on their ability to engage with the workplace setting and to do that confidently. Right, so the success stories continue, but this time from the context of businesses. And these are some of the businesses that were in some form of partnership or engagement with for the purpose of um, providing that workplace setting, that workplace experience, the workplace component for the students. Now for this particular program, IMBA with professional practice, it is um, a placement component. So the comments I've got on the slide reflect that some of the businesses have come back to us in terms of wanting to continue that engagement or wanting to continue that practice. In fact, we had um, the final comment that I've got on the slide states that shows one of the businesses coming back to say they are now in a position to offer paid internship. Okay, so hopefully the comments that I've got on the slide reflect a positive experience between my institution and um, businesses. Again, in terms of the workplace opportunity for students. Now, this has resulted in collaborative live projects, community engagement, and guest speaker talks. So we've had some of the businesses come into the teaching sessions to be part of the core delivery in terms of um, equipping students before they actually get into the world of work to in enable them gain an understanding of the sort of skills or expectations that are required within the workplace setting. I think one, one thing to take out of this slide is as this engagement or synergy between my institution and businesses is such that is an organized structure where students see the learning that they would acquire before they actually embark on the placement and also gain some understanding of the learning why they are you know, in that form of a um, workplace setting within the institution. So we are consistently enhancing this structure to ensure that it is clear to students in terms of the learning that they acquire. So in terms of way forward or next steps, or possibly what to take away from this talk, I've got a number of recommendations I would list the recommendations and give us a moment to reflect on the points that I've got on the slide. Afterwards, I will highlight key terms within the recommendations. So these are key points to take forward in terms of driving corporate partnership. So the key highlights from the recommendations in terms of driving corporate partnerships and business engagement would be one, taking into consideration the steady increase in the number of individuals or candidates who enroll onto business related degree programs. Academic institutions have got to be proactive on continually reviewing their programs to ensure that they are relevant. Therefore, they've got institutions have got to ensure that their programs reflect innov innovation. And this will require institutions demonstrating that they've got a strong synergy between themselves and businesses. So the second point would be for the synergy between the institutions and the businesses to be such that it is an organized structure whereby students, scholars or learners are able to clearly see what learning or skills they would acquire in the course of their study. And for them to clearly see 
how they can translate the skills and knowledge acquired practically in the world of work or in workplace settings. The third point still demonstrates that the bigger responsibility lies with the academic institutions. Institutions have got to continually exploit academic enterprise opportunities that clearly align with and contribute to their key principles and of course, their strategic frameworks. Thank you for listening to my talk. I've got my contact details on the slide. So get in touch. Let's col collaborate in our practice on creating a satisfying learning experience for our diverse student body.